guys welcome to another video on my channel my name is Jenny Lynn welcome if you are new so basically I did most of my face as you guys can see I do have um, setting powder on right now um, I've been living for this new wet n wild brush their pro line uh, this is the p65 this is a precise setting brush and it's been really working very well I love it and it just gets the powder where I need it to go um, so I'm going to be doing another set for Christmas, and this is the Ulta Beauty Just Face It Complete Face and Eye Palette. This was a $9.99 at Ulta. Um, I probably will just skip the uh, color correcting today just for the just for today. The eyeliner, and it's a nice eyeliner, but um, you have to press hard, really, really hard down to get it in, and I don't. I just have to. I like. I like lightly going in my eye with an eyeliner um it is really a nice color black but unfortunately it's just it, it, when you go when you try to go in very light it doesn't really work so um i don't really like this very much so that's just my opinion if somebody else likes it great i will probably just donate that one so um here we go so we have in this palette you have um 30 eye shades five color correcting scissors which i'm not going to use two blushes two bronzers two highlights an eyeliner and a duo brush which is very nice you got like a really fluffy eyeshadow side and then you got a packing brush side so that's nice so I will be using this and see if they apply better than my BH Cosmetics or Wet n Wild brushes so in I'm basically first I'm gonna do the blush and I'm gonna use this one first and I'm just gonna use my Sonia Cassock brush I really love using this blush this blush brush I'm just gonna go in very lightly and we're just gonna do the cheek So it is very pigmented. Yeah, I like this blush. It's a very pretty brush, if you guys can see. And I love the Sonia Cassock brush that applies. I really love this one for blush. Okay, now for highlight, I'm going to use my fan brush. I've been loving this by the Color Workshop. This is our fan brush. I'm just going to go into this pink one. It looks like a pink one. And I'm going to hide my cheekbone right here. Oh, yeah, she's pigmented. Oh, definitely, she's pigmented. So this is a very pretty... So I'm going to swatch it. Uh, these don't have names, unfortunately. So I'm going to swatch both of them. So the top one is kind of like a gold sheen to it and the middle one right down here is which is on my face right now. This is like a pink rose gold coloring to it. But we're going to do the rest of the face with this one. Um, I do like this pink one a lot. It's very pretty. Definitely one of my favorites out of the bunch. So those are the two highlighters. I did the blush. I did like the blush. The blush is really pretty. I'm going to use the bronzer now and I think I'm going to go in with this one. This one has kind of like a sheen to it. Um, it's kind of like got a glittery sheen to it. Um, this one just looks like a regular, a matte one. So you have um, just basically a matte powder bronzer and then you have one that has a sheen to it, which is this one. One with the matte, no shimmer shade. And we're just gonna carve out some cheekbones. So far, it's applying really well um, with the e.l.f. brush. So oh, definitely like this. I'm gonna try and contour my nose. We shall see. Okay. So I did like the 
blushes and the highlights. I really enjoyed them on this uh, one. So that is a hit for me on this side. Now we're going to go to the eyeshadow side. So as I'm looking at it, it looks like a lot of neutral colors. You got some bold colors in here. You got some purples, some blues, some turquoise. So I'm going to see what I can come up with with the eye look. So the first one I'm going to go into when my eyes are already primed by the Maybelline Lid Primer. I used that today instead of my BH Cosmetics. I wanted to try something else. So I'm going to go in with this white matte. Um, it's just a white matte shade right here. And we're just going to apply that to the entire lid. Okay, so it's a very good white base color, um, which is one of the things I like. Um, then in the next one, I'm going to use a, another matte shade, and they do have quite a bit of selection of matte shades. I'm going to go in with this um, brown shade right here. Um, just pick up some product, and I'm going to put this in my crease. And we're just going to blend it into the crease. So it's a very brown color, a light tan, and it is uh, very pigmented. And it was easy to blend out, which wasn't too hard. Okay, and then the next one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a ColourPop brush. I love ColourPop. They have really good brushes. I really like this brush. Um, I'm going to go in with just a little darker color, and I think I'm going to go in with this basically darker brown color right here. I'm going for a natural look. I'm not going to use any of the uh, any of the colors today. I'm going natural today. Um, I'm just going to go in with that brown shade right here, and we're just going to put that in the outer V. Okay. I'm just going to take that clean brush and just buff it on out, make sure everything's smoothed out, no harsh edges. <clears throat> Alright, and then for the lid, I think I'm going to do this color right here this pink one right here. Um, this is just a natural look today. I'm not going too bold. I just wanted to make sure I get it. Okay. And I'm stopping right where I put that big brown. So there is some fallout, which isn't too bad. It's not going to kill me. I'm going to go in with a different brush, another flat blush. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to take, um, this kind of uh, brown shade right here. And I'm gonna pack that onto the outer V. Then I'm going to use a small little brush and I'm going to go in with um, this white shade right here. This is a shimmer white shade and I'm going to put this into the corner of the eye. First, this side is going to be with, this side is going to be without setting spray or Fix Plus or any of that stuff and then this side is going to be and we shall see if there's a difference. Um, so I didn't use anything on this side and I'm going to use that light brown that I used before and I'm just going to smoke out the under eyes. Now we're going to do the other side. So um, with this color in the side, I don't think I need any Fix Plus, but I said I would do it so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to spray some, let's just do setting spray. I'm going to do the Wet n Wild setting spray. 
I'm gonna do one spritz. We're gonna go in and we're gonna see if it intensifies it. Might have intensified it a little a little bit but not a whole lot to me I still think they're the same so then we are going to do the other side um, I'm gonna spray all my brushes it's just one spray that's all it needs one spray I'm gonna do the outer V with the same shade that we did over here I'm gonna do over here we're just gonna pack it on out to the outer V and then stop about halfway in Okay, so that's a pretty shade. I really like this shade. Okay. And then for the top of the lid, I'm going to use that um, pink one. Okay. All right, so now I'm done with the eyes. We're on the lash. You know what, I think it's okay. It's okay, it's not that bad. All right, so now that the eyes are done, everything else is done, we are gonna go to setting spray and we're gonna use the Wet n Wild setting spray. All right, so what can I tell you about this right here? Okay, well, I can tell you that I did love the freaking highlighters. The highlighters were really good. The bronzers didn't wow me. That's just my opinion, they didn't wow me. They're a good bronzer, but they didn't wow me. They didn't do anything that another normal bronzer would do. Um, the blushes I really liked. I did like this one a whole lot on my face. It goes in really good with my makeup. Um, the highlights were amazing. I love the highlights. The highlights were the favorite thing I love doing. And uh, the highlight was my favorite thing about this whole palette. Um, the brush the brush was just a cheapo brush. It wasn't really that great. I used it once to blend out and it's just a cheap brush. It wasn't extravagant, but I think my BH Cosmetics brushes and my other brushes did better. So the eyeliner, I didn't really like. It's good for doing underneath the eyes. It's not great for doing on the eye, like cat eye, like what I have here. Um, it just, it wasn't, it was subpar. Um, so the eyeshadow palette is a really good assortment of shades. It wasn't a bad buy. It was under $10 and you did quite a bit of stuff. But the eyeliner pencil did not wow me. The bronzers did not wow me. The highlighters were really pretty and I really enjoyed them a lot. The blushes too. I wasn't going to use the concealers because I do have a duochrome concealer um, by Hard Candy that I use on a regular basis. But since I have been getting my uh, red pigmented area on my face under control, I haven't had to use that quite a bit. So I'm really happy on that. So um, out of this, I might use the blush and the highlight again. Um, I probably won't use this and I probably will not use the eyeliner pencil again or the bronzer. Um, I have other bronzers that I like that did a better job. Um, the only thing I really liked was the eyeshadows. So I did like the highlight and the blush and the eyeshadows. Everything else I was a, it was just not to my liking. Um, now with the coloring, I wish they would have gone a little bit more beyond. I have like blues and purples and tans and then you have like cream colors and neutral colors. But this wasn't like a palette that like wowed me. Shimmers. So this it it's a nice neutral palette, but it's not bold. So if I want to go for a neutral day or like a light day, this is something that I would gravitate more toward. Um, I think it was an okay buy. I mean, I'm not. I didn't think I wasted my money money because it was only ten bucks, but I did think that um, I could have gotten a better palette for more money. But that's just me. It was on sale. It was originally sixteen dollars, and I got it for nine ninety nine. It wasn't something that made me crazy so I'm not approving this um I just think it's a cute palette for a neutral neutral tone person but um the only thing that I did really love about this was the highlight the highlight and the blush those were the two that I really loved and I have other palettes that are neutral that could do just as good of a job as this one did so um unfortunately this one did not wow me um kind of depressed that I did buy something that I did not like 
um, but I will use the highlight and the brush in this again for sure so so this is the end of the movie or video I need, and I need to stop talking so as always please subscribe down at the bottom if you like my channel and if you do not like me I really don't care this is what I like doing about makeup so I'll see you guys on the next one bye